Hi, fifth graders. I have something to share with you that I found online this morning. Um, it's a free website from VexIQ. VexIQ is the company that we use to build our robots. Um, so they have put out a free site for kids to practice coding a robot um, while we are doing this distance learning. Uh, Mr. Hayden's class, if we do get back to school, um, he and I will come up with a time where you can come in and still code robots and use them. Um, if you've already had robotics with me, then this is just a choice, something that you can do if you would like. Um, and just a way that we can still work on robotics even though we are not at school. Um, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to need a device in order to do this. Um, just go to a regular search engine, so like Safari or Chrome that you have, and you're going to type in right into the search bar vr.vex.com. Okay, so vr.vex.com. And that's going to bring you to this website here. And so when you get to this website, um, you're going to see a whole bunch of tools on the top. The coding blocks that you need are all going to be on this side here. They're all color coded. So your drivetrain blocks, which are your move options, are all in blue. Um, if you want to repeat any steps, those are going to be down here. They've got some sensors. They have a whole bunch of items that uh, I have not even looked at yet because, as I said, I just found this this morning. Um, but what you can do is you can click on something called Playground, which is right up here. This is the Playground option. And you're going to get this box that pulls up. There's a whole bunch of options under Playground. Um, the one that I have up right now is called Wall Maze. And so your robot is right down here, and you're trying to get it through the maze. And very similar to Code.org that we use in the classroom, your move blocks, you just touch them and drag them. So if I'm working on this, and I have my start right here, if I want it to move forward, I would drag that over. So you can see that, you can change the numbers. Okay, when you're ready to start your program, you would simply just go to start, and then you're gonna see on the bottom that robot's gonna move. So if I push this up a little bit so you can see, and then we'll click start. You can see that robot moving a little bit. Okay, so you can do as many of these challenges as you want. Again, this is just a choice. Um, I was reading online, there is a way that you can take a PDF of this um, and share it with me. You go to this little share button here, and once you're done doing a challenge, you can actually share it. You don't have to, but just if somebody wants to try that, I would be very interested to see if it works. Um, another option when you go to activities here, you're going to come to all of these activities, all of these challenges. So you can kind of scroll through, and you can look at ones that you might want to try. Um, and they'll give you videos on how to do all of the challenges and information. If at any time you're wondering what a code block does, there's a little question mark here that you can click and it will walk you through exactly what that code block does. So I just wanted to give you this as an option, something that you can try at home. Um, again, like I said, I just found it today, so I don't know um, too much about it. I'm learning right along with you, but um, so far I found it to be uh, pretty user-friendly and um, a lot of fun. So I um, hope that everybody's doing well. Like, like I said, if we are back at school, if you're in Mr. Hayden's class, then you can certainly um, come to my class and we'll do a few classes so that we can finish up um, your PLTW. Um, if you're in Mrs. Walsh's class or Ms. Vessel's class, um, this is just an option for you since you have already had STEAM with me. And I hope that you are all doing well. I miss you, and I look forward to seeing all of the things that you're doing on Seesaw. Take care.